since I entered architecture na hindi talaga ako marunong mag-drawing. Pero na-notice ko, so as I keep on practicing and learning throughout my college years, naaral ko siya ng paunti-unti. The members are the sole objectives of the organization. Being a UAPSA officer is also a practice for working professionally. You really have to trust the process. You really have to enjoy the process. The purpose of UAPSA is to spread the dreams of all architects and to inspire and instill discipline in architectural fields. Hello Builders! Welcome to ProStock. So, those who maybe are just tuning in today, uh, ProStock is a social corporate responsibility for building. So, this is a platform for anyone who builds. So, anyone who is interested to know anything about construction, project management, engineering, architecture, and anything about this business. We have a broad, broad network of partners that can provide you with insights and experiences that can help you the field. So today, we are joined by our special guests, Jerome Cascala, Vice President for Operations, Almira Antonio, Vice President for Programs and Development, and Chapter President, Charmy Doromal, their students from TIPQC, UAPSA. Hi, uh, welcome to ProStop. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Can you introduce yourselves uh, one by one? A pleasant day to everyone, and thank you so much to our partner, Bildi. For having us three today, I am Almira Clarice R. Antonio, incoming fifth year architecture student and the vice president for programs and development of the fiscal year 2021 to 2022 of the UAPSA TIPQC chapter. I've been a member of our organization since I was a freshman and now two years in service as an officer. And as a vice president for programs and development, I am the one who is responsible to perform the duties of the committee chair in study, research, and formulation of, our, of policies and programs intended to attain the objectives of the UAPSA chapter, subject to change and approval of the chapter board. I am also responsible to um, sir, and serve as the official coordinating head of the committees under the internal affairs who shall oversee the proposal, planning, execution of the organization activities, committees, and also perform such other duties as may be assigned to be by our chapter president. Thank you. And thank, uh, good day, everyone. Thank you so much once again, Bill D, for this great opportunity to have us and uh, represent you up at EIPQC for your talk. So, syempre, para po sa ating mga viewers, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, everyone. Kung ano oras siya po uh, napapanood nito. I am the current uh, Chapter Vice President for Operations of YAPSA TIPQC Chapter for this fiscal year 2021 to 2022. And currently, third year architecture student and serving YAPSA as a student leader and member since my first year uh, day sa college from Commissioner to Marketing to Chapter Secretary until uh, being the Chapter uh, Vice President for Operations. And it is my duty to see the updates of our organization, especially in every event. I also check on how our social media platforms interact with our members and to the whole architecture department. Yeah, thank you so much, Bob. Thank you. Lastly, Ms. Charmley. Firstly, I would like to give thanks to Bildi for giving us a UAPS at KIPQC chapter a golden opportunity to be part of your pro staff. Hello everyone, I am Farmy Joy Daromal and I am currently the Chapter President of UAPSA TIPQC Chapter. I am a 5th year architecture student and as a Chapter President, I serve as a Chief of Executive of the Chapter. I preside over all meetings of the Chapter Board, Executive Committee and the overall membership of the Chapter. I also represent the Chapter Board in UAPSA National Meetings, Assemblies, Gatherings, and Congress. That is all. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, thank you for that. And uh, again, welcome to ProStock. So to start the program, let's start with a brief introduction. So what is UAPSA? UAPSA means United Architects of the Philippines Student Auxiliary. It is a duly recognized student organization of the United Architects of the Philippines or UAP. The purpose of UAPSA is to spread the dreams of all architects and to inspire and instill discipline in architectural students. All right, that's great. Um, so I've been a member of UAPSA then, so nung mag-aaral ako si ano, UAPSA then, so automatically pag, ano, di ba, pag uh, architecture student, parang ina-encourage na mag-join ng UAPSA. So uh, para sa mga incoming Uh, architecture students or yung mga non-member pa ng UAPSA. Can you tell us uh, what should a student expect being a member of UAPSA? And can you discuss the advantages and how can it help them as an architecture student? Being a member of UAPSA is a big opportunity for architecture students like us. Our organization organizes seminars, webinars, event inside or outside the school and activities that stimulates the students interest and awareness of the duties and responsibilities of an architect um, this will give them the idea and prepare them from the outside world and the and in our field not only that but during seminars or webinars they got the opportunity to listen to real architects and learn from their experiences Um, UAPSA also close to UAP since we are a student organization under UAP and we have a wider connection with them. And this is a good experience as sometimes they invite us in their seminars, activities, and events. And these experiences will give the students the number to have a broader perspective of what an architect is. actually doing in the field. Okay, uh, that's great. I have one run- random question since uh, for sure I've encountered it right? too. If ever na para meron tayong mga colleagues or mga classmates natin before or mga kamag-anak pa, marami sa kanila nagtatanong about architecture. So, in your opinion, is drawing skills required or needed if someone wants to pursue architecture? Ah, uh, yes. Sa mga nagtatanong ko regards sa mga required ba siya or hindi. Actually, for my own experience, I entered architecture na hindi talaga ako marunong mag-drawing. Actually, parang normal lang sa amin mag-drawing dati. Mga uh, regular na stickman, regular na kayang ma-drawing natin na kung nakikita natin. Pero, hindi din natin kaya mag-drawing ng mga complicated perspective na nire-required for architectural plans. Pero, na-notice ko, as long as I keep on practicing and learning throughout my college years. Naaral ko siya ng paunti-unti. Kasi talagang you really have to trust the process. You really have to enjoy the process para kahit pa paano, motivate mo yung sarili mo to do your best. ba? Diba? Kasi ano eh, sa architecture, hindi ka lang, hindi ka lang kailangan ng, uh, magaling mag-drawing. But maraming skills pa. na required para para lang ano para lang to be a better architecture student at maging better ka na architect pag natapos mo yung ano yung college days mo yeah, I definitely agree with that kasi mm-hmm. um, a lot of my classmates before na hindi naman sila talaga magaling mag-drawing like mm-hmm. for example may mga uh, visual communications kung may, meron ba kayong ganun visual communications parang hindi naman sila nag-excel doon pero parang kaya tayo nag actually kaya tayo nag-aaral ng architecture yun what we learn is how architecture works din naman siya yung how we draw parang it is how yung system ng, ng within the building yung inaaral and then actually mga theories mga history and all so yeah definitely agree with that so for my next question uh, about the sa grow run ng uh, organization How do you keep your members active and up to date? So, meron bang meron ba tayong schedule of activities, events, mga reviews or group studies? So, can you walk us through how you manage the organization? So, um, hello again. 
Of course, like any other organization out there, we post from our different social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Honestly speaking, not all of our members are active. Even though we try our best to invite them all and participate with our events and activities, not all of them are interested. However, it is okay since we understand because they are not just our members, but also students. They have other responsibilities to focus on and risk. All of them are active, but some of them are not to get their attention and keep them updated with our events. We give them great seminars and webinars with professionals as their guest speakers and fun activities during the event. Um, we don't normally do events monthly. It is according to the operational plan that is submitted to the Office of Student Affairs and UAPSA National Health. Our next question, okay? No? Hmm. Personal question. So, siyempre, nag, ano kayo ng organization. So, marami kayong mga nakakausap. So, nakakausap yung mga members, mga colleagues, professors. So, my, for my question, how do you keep a good relationship with them? Okay, this one is a funny question. Um, bali, lahat kami makakasagot nito. So, first, ako sasagot. Um, as a chapter president, in order to maintain a good relationship with my colleagues, members, and professors, I maintain humbleness. From my colleagues, I listen to their ideas and give them a chance to speak for the organization. I don't really have the view. What I implement from our organization is to stay equal and professional. Um, meanwhile, uh, for our members, um, we listen to their concerns, of course, and to take action as soon as possible, since we are the organization is always for the members. And UAPSA will not be completed and not be recognized without its member, and the members are the sole objectives of the organization. Yeah, and sempre po for our professors naman is uh, to have a good relationship. It's very hard kasi lalo sa students to professor relationship masyadong malayo po kasi yung gap. So we set boundaries uh, from them. So as the chapter uh, VPO of the apps, uh, we always respect them as our professors of CIP since I am also their student. And I don't use we don't use the title chapter president, chapter vice president for program and development as the VPO in our student life so when in front of my colleagues uh, i am the leader but when i in class uh, we return as a normal student or syempre we consider them as a friend pa rin walang walang masyadong alam mo yung ICP or VPP VPPD ganun so friends pa rin so kung work lang uh, work tayo then set na side natin yung work we have to be a friend also sa kanila para magkaroon ng alam hindi marunong hindi masyado mapagmataas since dahil may organization ka lang na kinagbibilangan. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. Uh, actually, makapractice mo yan. Pag-graduate pa, parang, yeah, stay humble. Magandang practice siya. Especially if you're a leader, di ba? Yes, po. Okay. Okay, for our next question, uh, uh, being an architecture before, so, alam ko yung maraming, ano yan, busy ka, there's a lot uh, on your hands and you prefer to focus na lang sa plates, studies, and other stuffs. So, syempre, meron mga numbers ng students na gusto maging active and to get involved within the organization. Can you explain to us uh, how this kind paano, how this kind of student pursues that, that route? For example, kung ako student, gusto kong maging papunta sa position niya, ni Sir Bon na Vice President or ni Ms. Charmley na President, how can I pursue that road? Recently, we interviewed students who applied for being an officer this coming school year, 2022 to 2023. And we asked all of them, are you really prepared and committed enough to join UAPSA chapter officer, knowing that you know how we, archi how we architecture students work? All of them answered, of course, yes. It is easy to say yes since they don't really know how the organization really works. If the student is really determined to be a UAPSA officer, you must always know how to manage your time, 
from the organization, family matter and school matter. I am not really exaggerating, but being an officer is a big responsibility. It's not just planning events, but also you will interact with a lot of professionals, co-students, um, co-colleagues. You will have to prepare for constant meetings, emails, and paperwork. Being a chapter officer is not a title, but also a role. A role for representing the UAPSAT PIPQC from different schools and for the national. So if that student really wants to be an officer, I always think, I mean, always think that are you really committed enough to the ability? If not, don't waste your time and the others will just put, you will just put weight, so much weight on your colleagues. Yeah, that's true, no? Because, parang sabi nga kay Spiderman na parang with great power comes great responsibility. Officer ka, so full commitment na, di ba? Um, in line with this, syempre, uh, you up sa officers kayo, how do you think that will help after you graduate architecture? Um, there's a big advantage when you are a you up sa officer and you graduated from the program architecture um, because you are now well prepared and knowledgeable about the corporate world. Being a UAPSA officer is also a practice for working professionally. Not only that, but since we are exposed to the UAP events and activities that is the main topic is about architecture, architect scope, we are proud enough to say that we will survive this profession. Being exposed in, to the professionals working and interacting with them is a perk. We were taught and practiced enough to the future. Totally agree with that. Kasi parang, actually, meron na kayong edge sa leadership nun eh. Kasi pagdating sa field na architecture, parang, siyempre, being on the field of architecture, talagang maghahandle ka ng mga tao, mga kawork ka rin with engineers, interior designers, contractors, and marami pa. Being an officer, meron ka ng experience sa pag-handle ng mga yan. Before we wrap this up, no, para na rin ano ito eh, invitation sa mga future ng mga students and uh, current students na hindi pa member ng UAPSA. So, how can you inspire students and future architect students to be a part of UAPSA? Ayan. So, since na-mention na din ni Sir Philip, lalo sa mga uh, incoming freshmen, uh, ako nga uli papakilala ko sa sarili ko, I am Bodrum and Pesak lang, the uh, UAPSA TIPQC Vice President for Operations and I formally invite you to join UAPSA na just in TIPQC pero uh, most of the architecture school like uh, USC, UP at kung iba-iba pang campus, meron din po silang UAPSA chapter. So UAPSA is not just an ordinary organization but it is an organization that gives seminars, activities, workshops and also gives you memorable school life experiences. It is fun when you have an extracurricular activity more importantly if it is if it is only focusing on architecture. And also in your APSA hindi ka lang tinitrain as uh, tumutay task to manage your time but your APSA officers and the APSA family also will teach you no to mo uh, na yung ma enhance mo yung leadership skills na meron ka kasi kailangan natin ng leadership ng good leadership sa profession na ating uh, tatahakin pagdating ng araw so once again we formally invite you to become our member and experience being part of our family you apsa yeah. it's great uh, meron din tayong fun question lang syempre busy busy kayo uh, marami kayong sa plates Merong outside na plates, meron pang minor subjects. So, can you tell us your status? So, single pa kayo, available, or it's complicated? Parang, syempre, busy-busy kayo eh. Yeah, one question lang. Uh, are you single or available pa? Really? Bakit ganyan po yun? <laughs> one question lang. Oo nga naman, CP. Actually, I'm single. Same din po. Si Ms. Alvira. May, sumpa- May sumpa po talaga sa iyo, Apsa. <laughs> How much is her phone? Joke lang po. Ayun, <laughs> sir. Lagi din sinasabi na nasa iyo, Apsa, love and true love. Huwag kayo maniwala, guys. 
<laughs> serving you after for three years yeah I'm still mm-hmm. single po uh, parang ano nawala ng time parang sacrifice talaga yung part na yan no? <laughs> so, kahit gusto mo sir talaga kailangan wala you really have to focus on your duty mm-hmm. so, you have to offer <laughs> yeah talagang full commitment na mm-hmm. mali mo marami nakapila no <laughs> sana nga sir sana magpakilala na sila <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, can you promote your organization and if ever your mga social media accounts, how can they reach you? Um, so I could be found here. Again, thank you, Bildi, for having us. You upset the IPQC chapter. Let me take this opportunity to say to say that since my term, um, our term, um, is almost ending, I would like to. Introduce and congratulate Bon Jerome Kasaklang as he will be the next chapter president this incoming school year 2022 to 2023. Also, um, congratulations to the new sets of officers who passed the interview and now become our coming chapter new sets of officers. And congratulations and we wish for the better for the betterment of the organization. And also thank you for our co- thank you for all our colleagues na nagtrabaho dito sa um, term namin ng 2021 to 2022. Ito na doon. Ayan, so siyempre to promote our organization as well para maging updated po kayo lahat sa UAP sa TIPQC and you want to know more about UAP sa TIPQC at siyempre sabi nga na Sir Philip, single po lahat ng officers na nandito. So, you can uh, visit our Facebook page, you at the uh, TIPQC chapter, our Twitter at TIPQC app, uh, or on our Instagram account at TIPQC app. Uh. So, you may also visit our YouTube account, just type in you at the uh, TIPQC. Yeah, thank you so much, and Pandayan Future Architect. All right, uh, congratulations, sir. Bon, thank you, sir. And let us congratulate also you, mga since. Recently, nag uh, time board exam, so yung mga take ng ALE, congratulations, new architects of the Philippines. Okay, so uh, once again, thank you so much for your time, new apps at DIPQC. And to our viewers, stay tuned for more post talk episodes on Build It TV. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you, Buildy. Thank you, Buildy. Thank you, everyone.